Watching the Hawks News Network for Monday, April 26, 2021. I'm your host, Daniel. We'll start in just a second, but first, let's take a look at the word and quote of the day. here with your mental health minute of the week. Today is about agreeing to disagree. Have you ever been in an argument with someone and it's so frustrating because they don't see your point of view? Well, here are five ways to respectfully disagree without creating extra drama. Number one, don't make it personal. If you get upset, it can help to remember you're mad at the idea or concept that your parent, friend, or teacher is talking about, not the person. Number two, avoid putting down the other person's ideas and beliefs. If you've ever been on the receiving end of someone's outbursts or put downs, you know how valuable using respectful language and behavior can be. So instead of saying what you might be thinking, like, that's a stupid idea, try, I don't agree, and here's why. Resist the temptation to yell, use sarcasm, or make derogatory comments, and you'll have a much better chance of getting your point across. Number three, use I statements to communicate how you feel, what you think, and what you want or need. Using you statements can sound argumentative. For example, telling your mom or dad, you always remind me about my chores on Wednesdays when you know I have a lot of homework. Has a very different tone from, I'm feeling pressured because I have a lot of homework tonight. Can I do those chores tomorrow? Number four, listen to the other point of view. Be a good listener. Being a good listener is a way of showing that you respect and understand the other person's perspective. That makes it more likely he or she will do the same for you. When the other person is talking, focus on what's being said and not how you feel. When it's your turn to talk, repeat any key points the other person made to show that you listened and heard what was said. Then calmly present your case and why you disagree. And number five, stay calm. This is the most important thing you can do to keep a conversation on track. Of course, it's a huge challenge to stay calm and rational when you're feeling angry or passionate about something, especially if the person you're talking to gets heated. But you may need to be the mature one who manages the conversation, even if the other person is a parent or someone who you feel should know better. Respecting someone's point of view and being aware of your own daily actions can help you establish foundation for those times when you might disagree. That's all for today. We'll see you next week. Prom tickets will be distributed before and after school in room 227 on April 26th through the 30th. Remember to bring a photo ID and students off campus for dual enrollment or lake live pickup is on April 27th and 29th to 15 p.m. through 3 and April 26th 1 15 through 2. Remember you must have cleared all your destiny fines in order to receive your ticket. Be prepared to show this on your Chromebook or phone. On-campus students may also pick up for a friend who is off-campus if you email Miss Lewis with their permission and your name. Don't forget to order your very own copy of the LMHS 2020 through 2021 school yearbook on sale now. Our supplies are running out. You can order on RevTrack or stop by Mr. Greenland's room or Mr. Beckemeyer's room to make your order. The cost is $75.
And that's all for today, Hawks. For Monday, April 26, 2021, until next time, I'm your host, Daniel, reminding you the Hawks are always honorable, academically focused, wise, kind-hearted, and successful. We'll see you again tomorrow.